Uh, more about this knife. The coincidences required to make this knife work is... Okay, so the the, the Death Star fell. Mm-hmm. And then somebody yep. standing in this like particular location was like, I'll make this knife as a reminder to myself. Okay. And then you've got to like bring this thing out. And that points to some along some vector. If you're standing mm-hmm. in exactly the right location, which how are you going to verify that? Um, about where this Pathfinder device is. But then that's not taking into account the degradation of the Death Star. I mean, it's in water, salt water. It's going to start to fall apart. So if you come back five years later and you hold it, you're like, hmm, this is different. I guess this knife leads to nowhere. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> Let's watch it. Let's watch. Okay. So there's the Death Star. Here's the ocean. Yep. Waves thrashing it at all time. Yeah, all time. Okay, that needs to not get stuck ever. Yep. This needs to line up. And then there you get that. So it's it's pointing. Gosh, if you were standing 50 meters to the to the left or any direction, mm-hmm. um, your lineup is going to be completely different. If you're taller than Ray, if your arm is longer than Ray, all your lineup is going to be different. If you're like left eye dominant or right eye dominant, you'll get a little bit of parallax. A little, little, little bit of parallax. If this and thing this thing is sitting under the rain and it's also being beaten by the waves and it's not just fresh water it's salt water like the extra ions like rip through stuff and it's, so it's, like you have a narrow window in time is is this thing going to be here in a thousand years like probably not it's dissolved away it's it's, it's mm-hmm. rotted out by then is yeah. it going to be here in like two hundred years like maybe but these edges aren't going to be sharp anymore like even one hundred years right. like so this is a knife that tells someone in the future to. St- if they are in the right location, if they have the right length of their arm, if they're the right height, if they have the right eye, it tells them where to find them. But like all these things need to be exactly right. Otherwise this knife isn't gonna work. Right, even if you get really close, like say you're within 500 meters. I mean, that's just that's just a slight movement in one direction. Mm-hmm. Right? You're, I mean, you got you got the intelligence, you got the figure, you figured it out just to this location and you're 500 meters off, like you're you're there. You hold it up. I mean, you've made it across the galaxy. You made it to this right side of the planet. You're yeah. in the right spot. You even you recognize, wrong? yeah, you recognize the wreckage. You found it. You just you're in the wrong spot slightly. I mean, you're on the completely wrong vector. I mean, they're it's like even on worse. That. <laughs> it's even worse because it gives you a vector, not a location. So from eye to tip see. gives you a line. So anywhere on be, that line, right? If this thing is like a hundred, if th- is this wreckage is like a hundred feet thick. It could be anywhere along that thickness. Just, right. just check it all. Just and, and it's not like, oh, I'll just walk down the hallway. No, it's like jagged edges, metal. You got to climb up to get to a particular location along this entire vector through the wreckage. They're on a cliff, which means that this isn't <laughs> land here. What if there's enough erosion that the cliff falls away? Now no one can stand here. That's right. It, okay, but okay, you have to get across the water and somehow like, Okay, I see the vector. Like right there it is. Yeah, you gotta like you gotta you gotta plant a flag where you were before. You gotta plant two flags so that like the tips lined up. And then yeah. from down in the water you're like, er there, so behind me. Okay, I keep going. Yeah. Just it's an impractical device. Why not just write it down? Put a little GPS tracker. Put a little right? Just put a little geocache in there. Actually actually Put a little air tag in there, right? So yeah, and it, there, yeah, you just give it a power supply to a little beep, mm. for, beep, beep, beep for here. ten years, twenty years, whatever you expect. I think that's possible, mm-hmm. um, especially with Star Wars tech. You could do that. So you, put Gosh, a you could actually, you could be yeah. a little sneaky and do some wave energy generation from the waves. Yeah, and I think Star Wars has that kind of tech. So sure you could put a little battery with a device right right where the thing is. And then if somebody has a finder, they can be like, beep, 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 oh, right there. And then they can yeah. they can choose however to get there, however they want. You just or, make a wayfinder for the wayfinder. Sure, why not? Or just, if you want to know where the wayfinder is, just 
pick it up and take it with you and put it in a warehouse. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> just put, just take it. Yeah, because 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 whoever made this knife knew where the wayfinder was. So if you know where it is, just go get it and then put it somewhere you know. Why, why be right. cryptic you, about it? Just be just be hidden about it. Just yeah. And then if you don't want other people to find it, well, put it in a hidden warehouse. Yep. You got how many planets do you have to choose from? A lot. There's got to be a Sith version of Maz Kanata. Just put it with them. Yeah, let's give it to a little like person that like collects it. Yeah, yeah, hoarding it. Like you've got a yeah. basement full of stuff. But who, yeah, yeah, okay, you who, can hide things by obscurity. You just you have like yeah. a bunch of cups and vases and like you know like birthday cards from people and people. Someone comes into your your hoarding room. And they're like, I ah, never mind. Like <laughs> I don't know. I wanted to. I don't know. And 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 the rebellion would never find it because there's no like Ray like force sensing. Boop, 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 boop. Boop, 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 boop. There's none of that. So what if you take it out of the location where they, people thought it was and put it in some random security by obscurity location? They're never going to find it. They, they could have tied whoever, whoever made that knife could have tied it to a bag and just held it off the cliff. That would have been right. more obscure than this thing. You're like here's a at knife, same- and it points you to like actually no, that's a decoy. You just wherever that the knife lines up, it's just at your feet, like two feet to the left. Like it's, that's fine. And that and that's and that situation where you'd be like i found it it's right there i found clearly. it clearly i force sensitive it yeah Finn's like is that it <laughs> He's like no ray, ray i got it i'm ray i, I felt yeah. it with the force who, it's just crazy who made this knife it's nuts i just wow it's dramatic though i mean all like lined up and stuff and you're like oh my gosh it clicks but it's like it didn't have to be there 